Cedric, if you would take us through your touchdown catch. Um, I don't know, like uh, it was kind of a broken play, kind of a scramble, and we work on scramble drills at practice. So kind of when I turned, I just had a good feeling that Joe was going to throw it. And when he threw it, I was like, yes. And uh, he just gave me an opportunity to make a play, so that's what I try to do. So, yeah, the yeah. maneuver around the defensive back, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of used to it. Like I said, I like to catch and test the balls and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I think the DB was in good position. I just try to make a good play. So, yeah. So are you the deep ball guy on this team now? You had a lot of opportunities. No, nah, you know, like I told you, I could run, you know. <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, uh, it just kind of happened that way. Uh, I think all of us can be deep threats. So, uh, you know, I just gave the uh, gave what I got. So, yeah. Was the touchdown gratifying because you, you just missed a couple of the uh, touchdowns there? Were you ever three? Uh, honestly, yes, uh, it was. Uh, but like I said, uh, me and Joe kind of talked on the sideline after those uh, missed throws. And, you know, it was just the first game. So we just, once again, we'll be better. So, yeah. Have you guys been hitting on those in practice? Uh, yeah, we've been hitting on those at practice. Like I said, it was the first game. You know, we both kind of have probably some jitters. Uh, but yeah, uh, Joe's a good quarterback, and uh, we shouldn't have those problems anymore. Like I said, this whole week, we're going to start uh, working on connecting on those deep balls just so in the game uh, we can be better at it. So yeah. What did you think of the up-tempo first time out, sir? Uh, I think it worked really well. Uh, you know, after our game, I was kind of watching the other football games. and like, man, they're going so slow. So now uh, I'm pretty much used to it, and I think it's good for us. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty much always been part of my game, especially since I got my height, so since around high school. So, uh, yeah, it's just something I think I'm pretty good at and try to continue to do. Did you get like a big growth spurt in high school at some point or, or whatever? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of, yeah, I, so I used to be short, uh, but then I, around my sophomore year, I kind of got my height. I was like 5'9", and then I kind of went to like 6'2", in the year, so yeah. Coach Thomas said this, the second half of that game that I was the worst you guys have maybe looked at this past game since the start of camp. Is that Maybe uncharacteristic for you guys to make struggle when you kind of did? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, like I said, uh, we kind of came out firing all cylinders. And in the second half, I guess you could say we kind of toned it down a little bit or he wasn't as efficient. But, uh, you know, after watching film, we kind of saw our mistakes and uh, we've learned from him. So, yeah. So, what's a halftime like under Coach Heupel and the staff? Does it look like you guys you know, bounce back pretty nicely to start the third? Yeah, so what a halftime looks like, uh, we, we just kind of really talk to our position coach uh, and our offensive coaches, and they kind of just tell us, once again, uh, things we got to improve on and the different changes that we're going to make going into the next half. So, yeah. Did you detect Bowling Green getting tired at all based on the hurry up pace that the offense had? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, you know, when they would try to do little stuff like keep us on the ground longer, or, you know, sometimes they'll just flat out say it. But uh, yeah, I think we caught them off guard, but uh, it was a good team nevertheless, so yeah. What did they say? Oh, uh, they were just saying, man, you guys go really fast. So it was like, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> you guys had PGA plays in the field. Did you feel more tired after this game than maybe any others that you guys had last year? Uh, I don't know, I felt pretty good after the game. You know, maybe it's just because, like I said, my adrenaline was going, so yeah. How'd you grid out in terms of blocking? Uh, well, <laughs> we don't really do too much blocking, honestly, but uh, when I am supposed to block, I, pr I did pretty good, I would say, so yeah. What do you know about Pitt's defense? Uh, I know they're a very uh, good team. They play with a lot of effort. They're real physical. They got a good D lineman and good uh, secondary. So uh, we're going to this game very seriously. It's going to be a big game for us. So uh, yeah, we're not taking them lightly at all. They're a good team. Do they do a lot of press coverage? Yeah, they play a lot of press coverage, uh, cover four, like the shadow technique. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun ball game. Definitely gonna be uh, some contested catches. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Has Coach Hypo ever talked to you about this thing and Johnny Major's class and kind of what it means as far as that? Uh, maybe he has. I probably you know wasn't listening, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, not a sense or anything. Yeah. In terms of the, 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 the team that's gonna play a lot of, you're gonna see a lot of press, a lot of man. Is that stuff? As someone who likes contested catches. Like that? Do you prefer that almost? Yeah, uh, like I said, me, whatever look they try to give me, I kind of just try to play my game. So if you're in front of me, pressing, playing shadow technique, zone, I'm going to just try to find a way to get open and make plays for my team. So, yeah. So, did you make some adjustments there when Bowling Green was dropping 7 8? It looked like y'all were, were kind of mm -hmm. searching for some answers there. Did you ever find something that worked better against that? Yeah, so definitely we had to make adjustments. Uh, like you said, the different zone coverages they were doing honestly kind of threw me off kind of a little bit at the beginning of the game. But uh, 
like I said, I think we kind of got better. And then looking back at film, I think we've learned a lot from it. So, yeah. So, how much better can this passing game get than what you showed against Bowling Green? Yeah, I think it could get a lot better. Like I said, I don't know how many yards we passed for, but looking back at film, we could have easily doubled it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, we're going to get better. Once again, it was only the first game. So, uh, after watching film, kind of getting those first game jitters out, I think we'll be really good. Yeah, um, those are two very uncharacteristic drops of Jalen. Jalen has good hands. Uh, he's a big time playmaker. So uh, anytime there's a big play, uh, I, I trust him 10 out of 10 times. So uh, he's a good player and uh, they were kind of just flukes. So yeah. You, you got to ask about the halftime adjustments. Did, did the coaching staff say, hey, we're going to come out in the third quarter and just pound it right at him? Uh, yeah, like we knew that we was probably going to have to run the ball because they were dropping so many people back and they was kind of playing the pass. So yeah, it was. Yeah, we kind of knew. Yeah. What's Coach Burns like during a, during a game in terms of adjustments and communication with them? Yeah, Coach Burns is uh, real calm during the game. Probably the calmest coach on the sideline. Uh, good play, bad play, like he's staying calm, doesn't do too much yelling. And uh, he always tells us next play, next play, next play. So uh, that's the mentality we try to have. Yeah. What was it like being back in uh, Newton Stadium and just kind of being back in front of fans on Thursday? Yeah, uh, honestly, like, I kind of was shocked because I thought I knew the feeling, but I kind of forgot because of COVID. So coming out the tunnel uh, pregame, I was like looking around like, okay, like we're back. So uh, yeah, it was dope.